guys, welcome back. So today I have for you a drugstore holiday makeup tutorial. Now I wanted to do a more realistic one. I feel like a lot of people do a really, really glamorous holiday makeup look and I know for myself, I do not go all out when I'm like with family on like Christmas and stuff. Um, so I thought it would be a cool idea to do a more realistic makeup look for the holiday season. And I did use all drugstore products. So if you would like to see how I created this look, then just keep watching. So starting off with my Maybelline Master Prime Primer, I'm just putting this all over my skin. This is a nice illuminating primer and it does blur as well. So I'm just rubbing this in with my fingertips, making sure it is everywhere that I want to be nice and primed. And then going in with the L'Oreal Infallible, I'm in shade 106 foundation. This is the matte one and I am just rubbing it all over my skin with my dampened beauty blender. Then taking the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the color Light Ivory, I'm just going to be concealing and highlighting my face with this. So it looks like it's kind of a lot of concealer, but it really does blend out pretty nicely. I'm just putting it in the center of my face on my eyelids and then underneath my eyes, and then I will be blending it out once again with my Dampened Beauty Blender. Then picking up my NYX HD Finishing Powder. This is in the banana color. It was kind of hard to see with the exposure on the camera, but I'm just picking this up on my Sigma F35 Tapered Highlighter Brush, and I'm just putting this everywhere that we put the concealer. Then taking my Revlon Nearly Naked Powder just to set the rest of my foundation using my F20 Large Powder Brush. Then taking my e.l.f. Contour um, kind of palette, I am taking my F05 Small Contour Brush from Sigma, and I am just bronzing up my face and giving it a little bit of contour. Picking up my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in the shade Brunette, I'm just going to start outlining my brow, kind of giving it more of a definition than my normal brow has, and then I will be filling it in with the pencil as well, giving myself hair-like strokes, as you can see here, and then I will take the spoolie and brush it all out so it looks nice and even. Going into my eyes, I'm taking my L'Oreal Paris Quad in the color 104 and I'm taking this light brown shade on my Sigma E40 Tapered Blending Brush and just putting it into my crease and my upper crease as a transition-ish shade. And then I am also going to be picking up that same color on a smaller brush. This is the Sigma E45 Small Tapered Blending Brush to put this on my lower lash line and then kind of put it a little bit more into my crease as well just because I wanted it to be just a little bit deeper than it was. Then switching over to the 106 palette. I'm taking this kind of light pinky shade and I'm taking it on my E55 eye shading brush and I'm just putting it all over my lid and then I actually do use this as my brow bone highlight as well. I thought it was a super pretty color and thought it would look great up there too. Then taking my L'Oreal Voluminous Feline Mascara. This was the first time I had used this mascara and you will see that it actually made my lashes look super super nice. I didn't think the wand was something I was gonna like but I actually ended up loving it and my eyelashes look super voluminized and I loved it. So here I'm just taking that same e.l.f. bronzer that we used and that Sigma E45 tapered blending brush just to give my nose just a little bit of contour because I didn't like how it looked without it. So I'm just making sure the edges are super, super blended. I didn't want it to be too, too precise, but you know. Then taking this Rimmel kind of highlight contour blush palette, I'm taking this pink shade and it's using the Sigma F40 blush brush to put it on my cheekies. I will leave which one this was down below. And then I'm putting on some lashes. Normally I wouldn't put lashes on but I wanted to give the option of lashes I didn't want to use like super big lashes these are just the Ardell Demi Wispies and I thought they made the look look nice then taking my Maybelline master illuminator stick thingy um, and just putting it on my cheekbones I liked it better when I put it on the beauty blender and then dabbed it on my cheek so I would recommend doing it this way instead then for lips this isn't at the drugstore but it is fairly inexpensive this is the um, Gerard Cosmetics Red Lip Liner. I will leave the exact name down below, but I'm just outlining my lips and then over drawing them just a little bit. And then I will be filling it in as well because I like how it looks filled in. And then I will be taking the Gerard Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick, the red shade as well. Once again, I will leave the name for this one down below.